Your app should be finished now. Are you satisfied with it? Yeah, works great. It took two hours for this session to complete. Three, four years ago, a friend and I built an application in Twin. I, I estimate that it probably took us three, four, five weeks to build the whole thing, at least the core of it, and have it ready back in the day. And today I spent two hours reproducing most of the features that it took us four or five weeks to build back in the day. And I have thoughts. First of all, understand that I see developers sort of like organized in two different groups. So group number one is people like me who've been developing software for like 30 years. And we do it all. And we use AI as an ingredient to the whole formula. AI help us remember, help us be faster, help us with documentation, help us fix bugs, but AI is just a copilot. Group number two, and I put here new developers, I heard the term citizen developer somewhere. These developers are much more comfortable letting AI lead the way, and they are the copilot. That's a very, very different mode, and that's not the way I like to work. Well, the tool, that I use today, the name is Pythagora, I think they just went live. They are targeting this second group. They want to help citizen developers build applications while AI is leading and the developer is co-piloting. So I had an opportunity to use Pythagora. I sat down with the founder and the co-founder who showed me the tool and help me build this application. The UI here is not great. So let me do something here. Let me say, let me make a change. Let's see, giving it a bunch of feedback here because I really don't like the way it just did this. By the way, if, if it does this, it's just great because I really, really, really dislike working with CSS. So I would love for, for AI to help me out with CSS. And look at that, it's giving me a bunch of changes here. Let's see, I want to create a web app. Okay, I want to create a web app that shows different questions. Should I say accept the changes? Let's click yes. I mean, I don't know if this is going to be the future of software development, but if it is, we're going to be sitting here. We can even be reading a book while this thing is working. Let's see, here we are the instructions on how to test the app. All right, so let's give it a try now. Okay, much better. Love it now. See, that's pretty cool. I'm glad I didn't have to mess with the whole thing. So number one, the development environment is great because it runs on your computer. You have to install an extension on your Visual Studio code and everything runs from there, which is great because it's very, very fast. Number two, they've created a tool that even though it's leading, even though the AI is the one building, it keeps the developer in the loop all the time. And I really, really like that. As soon as you type the prompt, as soon as you ask the tool to build something for you, the first step is just to build a plan. The tool is gonna build a plan with every single step that it's gonna go through. It's gonna present that plan to you. It's gonna give you an opportunity to modify that plan. And it's gonna tackle every single one of the tasks step by step. Okay, so there are five epics. It's gonna implement the database schema, create a homepage with the tabs for today's and tomorrow's questions, implement the logic for rotating the questions daily, add user authentication, using magic links sent via email, and then it's gonna implement the point system. All right, so that is everything that needs to happen. And within every epic, I can see the tasks that is going to implement for me. After it finishes each task, it's going to give you instructions for you to test that everything is working as it should and provide feedback if it doesn't. That process of back and forth, I think is amazing. I think it's something different and it's something that tries to keep the developer in the loop as much as possible. Now, sometimes the tool finds bug because that's a thing with software development. We don't sit down and write the whole application and are done with it. That's not the way it works. We write a little bit of code, we try, we test, we go back, we fix things, we break other things, we have to fix them as well. That's the way the process works. And that does not change here. Sometimes the tool gets into problems. You detect the dirt box. You tell, you give the tool feedback. The tool tries to fix those issues. Something happened or something funny that happened is that sometimes the tool modifies the code, add a bunch of locks into the code 
just so you can get better feedback from the logs and then uses that feedback to actually fix the problem. At no point in time I felt that the tool was completely stuck. So even though sometimes it went back and forth, we were always able to get the tool moving forward and building the features that, that came next. Pythagoras is, is really fast. Every task that it creates for you while you're developing this application, every task was very small. So it had an opportunity to finish the task, to write all of the code for that task really, really quick, which kept me engaged because what you don't want to do is a tool that just goes out there and an hour later comes back because you're, you're going to lose focus. You're going to try to do something else instead. This kept me engaged all the time, which was really good. After two hours of doing this, I felt pretty comfortable with what I built. I think it was way faster than if I had tried to build it myself for sure. But I, I was still very concerned because this switch has not clicked for me yet. Like it's very hard for a person like me who's been developing software for a long time to completely relinquish control to an AI tool that's gonna write the software for you. I felt like I was driving in a self-driving car that even though you know is probably safer than you, you're still afraid that it's gonna make a mistake. You're still wondering what would happen if the car makes a mistake right now. The main issue here is that lack of control. That is something that I could not stop myself from thinking while building this application. I felt that the code was not mine because it wasn't. And I felt that at any given point in time, if I had to go and dig in the code, I was gonna be in trouble just because the first step was gonna be for me to understand what the tool wrote instead of just going and fixing it. So that is a mental switch that needs to happen. I'm not used to this. I'm pretty sure that people who find tools like this very helpful and want to use these tools day after day, and um, what they're doing, they don't have that trouble. But I felt that that was like a hurdle for me to start using a tool like this every single day. Something is very clear to me after using this for a couple of hours and is that software development is changing. We cannot just go under a rock and think that this does not mean something, right? Even though I'm not gonna start using this tomorrow, I can see how many, many developers out there are one on one to start using this. How this is gonna help so many people Heck, even if I have to build something that I don't care that much about, like a prototype or, not, or an application that I can want to get done really, really quick, I can see myself using this. This would be perfect because so much faster than any human being could possibly be. So I'm really excited about where we're going. I cannot wait to fast forward a year from now and see how tools like Pythagora have evolved and how come they can help me build better software? Because that's what this is about, building better software. So I hope you find this helpful. I hope you give it a try, give back your feedback, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. This is an interesting tip. Fun fact, do you know that there is more than dozen, dozen agents working really hard on your app? That's pretty cool. I didn't know there were like more than 12 agents.